Hey guys, Chip here. We're gonna go over some more inset saws. This is a little more advanced than the last version. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, uh, work on showing you how you can inset a part that has been bullied and subtracted from another part. Uh, you'll see how this works as we move forward. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we're gonna use uh, the basic tower computer shape that we had before. It's a, a simple rectangle radius with radius corners there and uh, I'll use the polygon tool and I'll, I'll draw uh, a little polyline there and then I'm going to radius the corners of it um, and then I'm going to boolean and subtract that so I select my object, hit boolean difference, choose my, my curve and there I have it. So now I've got two solids now. I've got the, the uh, uh, this piece and the other piece. So let's go ahead and isolate this and let's look at it. Now the next thing we want to do is we're going to actually want to use the offset tool. We're going to use all of the different flavors of it. So the first one we're going to use is the offset flavor, and what we're going to do is we're going to shrink. We're going to shrink the distance, uh, shrink it. So what if, what we're doing is we're going to use a two uh, a distance of two. But when I flip it, you can see that I'm going out and I'm making it bigger. So I want to go less. I want to make it smaller. So once I've got that done, I'm going to use a distance of two, and I'll say done, and then I'm going to delete the selected thing. So now I've got a little smaller surface here. Then I'm going to Collect, select these surfaces and I'm going to go into the offset and I'm going to use the inset tool and here we have two different values 6 and 2 in this case uh, the top thickness is going to be how deep is that reveal going to be so 2 and 2 means it's going to be the same all the way around in fact you don't need to use the separate height if you're just going to use that but if you are going to use a separate height uh, if you are going to make it deeper then you're going to want to go ahead and create a number uh, a thickness number which will tell you how deep that reveal will be. So we're going to, for here we're going to use 8. Okay, now this is done. And, and I typically wouldn't go this deep, but this shows to show you how you do this. So now this is done. Now we're going to take and we're going to select these outside surfaces. And now we're going to copy those. And we're going to paste them in place. And then we're going to go back into the offset tool and we're going to use uh, uh, the shell command. In the shell, we're going to use the same thickness which we used at the beginning to offset uh, with, uh, is, which is two. And now, once we've done that, now we've got two solids. We have one solid here, and we have one solid here. So, next, it's a pretty simple matter to union these two together. And uh, let's, let's apply a little color to it. Um, and now, uh, we can view exactly this is the actual surface. You can see now we have two solids. Uh, I'm going to you know, drag this one out, you can see it a little better. But there's our two solids, and uh, that's about it. So I hope this helps some of you. Uh, have a great time. Talk to you later. See you. Bye.